and smile. Sociologists wonder why Africans never tamed zebras when Europeans rode horses into battle, hitched them to plows, used hooves to connect the white cities, while Africans never subdued the dark continent straight cousin. But over time, they discovered the secret that zebras had an attitude problem. A zebra prefers death to the weight of man on its back, genetically wired to explode the moment any human approaches with a saddle. The thought of its jaw grinding or bridle primes a zebra teeth to rip flesh, kill, before bowing to have its back broken into a scepter service for humans. While people admire the style and scope that showed us, the purity of an Andalusian white horse, the silky skin of an Arabian glistening in the sun. All I see is a broken spirit, sacrificed identity for an empty praise, and this reminds me of my brothers and sisters, dubbed beautiful only after shattering ourselves to bow and offer our spines to be ridden as a new black that hates labels. Dictionaries claim that the Civil Rights Movement ended in 1968, that black finally broke when a sniper slung a bullet through a dreamer's brain at the Lorraine Motel and killed the zebra in us. My grandma warned me how to keep us quiet. The powerful make it seem like yesterday we picked cotton, this morning we marched, and tonight we're stallions at sunset. The kind of free that believes there's no need to be zebra since Jim Crow died. Never mind our Andalusian skin still scream threats that takes eight shots to silence. The free that spews criticism without offering advice. I want to ask our critics how many lunch counters they set in. If their bodies were ever rolled back by a water hose blast, I wish they show me their strikes, their scars, and stop suffering like a thrift store shopping spree, snatching bloody shirts, shoes, pants without paying the price. I wonder if CNN showed churches being bombed in Ferguson, would you hop the first grade out to Missouri or do they protest the parade? That all black form fitting, I can't breathe t-shirt. Split trade on the left, in the till on the right, blow horn ready at hand, screaming, no justice, no peace. All spiral and permission like, can I please disturb your city? I promise to not burn it to dust. Can you make sure that Channel 6 is there to catch my good sides while we flash our strikes to show the world that the wits were too weak to beat the wild out of us? That even though the preachers tried to convince us, our God disowned us. We dry praying bones, renewed strength on nightly knees, never lynched high enough to unearth roots ten generations long. We'd be invasive, spreading through the soil you cut to grow back 10 times stronger with new language in our hip hop. Black Twitter, Vine, we show our black is beautiful, our black is proud, our black is magic, and don't need no saddle to show us otherwise.